Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we worked on uh, setting up a way to bring freight into Denver. Uh, basically reworking some of the roads, setting up a tram system, upgrading one of the trains. Or, well, modifying one of the trains, not so much upgrading. And so now Denver should be good to go. Freight and trams. So we have to kind of add this additional... Did I do that last episode? No, no, no. We did that a couple episodes ago. Uh, we brought the freight in, pretty much. The trams we upgraded were actually over here in Deadwood. Laid out a new tram route here. Got the roads where they need to be. And so we now need to start bringing in the freight into Deadwood. And we're going to use this uh, truck relay system that we have here. Bring the freight in. It'll probably take a little while to, to work, but it should eventually work. You know, things that will work. You are making decent profit. Good. All right, so let's get to it. This should be pretty straightforward. So we're going to figure out where to put in the drop-offs. And I don't think... I don't think we want to do two-way here at any point. So we're just going to do drop-offs. Now, do I want... I kind of would want them to come into town this way. I think a drop-off here right across from the passenger stop would be a good idea. And then a drop-off probably... What is your drop offs right across from the uh, the passenger stops? Why not? There, here we go. Well, that one's bi directional. That should be sufficient. You're gonna come in there, and then there, and then there, and then there. Good deal. And then head back, and it should minimally interfere with the uh, trams. Even though these aren't gonna be trams, these are gonna be trucks. Um, But still, if we can avoid interference, it's better. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get a good limited access highway system built in here at some point. Put four on there. Okay, so that should be fine. Now, Tombstone. 
Your trams. Uh, you're using the Skodas. 58 years old. Probably could use an upgrade. Yeah, let's go manage the vehicles first. Let's replace those with... Um... Robos. Sure. Now... The only spot I think that we could really use an improvement is over here. So we could come off of this... Off of Locust Street. Come up here. And maybe loop around there. And then come back down. That might be a good idea. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do the uh, four-lane, two-way city road with bus lane. With electric tram track. Because I keep forgetting to say... Yes, if you say yes, it doesn't actually put electric on it. It catches me a bunch of times. Alright, there we go. So, the actual passenger stop. Um, that covers there, that covers there. We're probably actually going to need two stops up here. One right about there, and then one right about there. All right, so after Locust Street, there we go. Hit that, and then hit that. There we go. Piece of cake. No, you haven't registered the new route yet. It'll be after someone stops here, they will go on the new route. All right. Why are these? Oh, cause they're they're waiting to get in there. Ooh. E. Managed to get in there. But yeah, we're going to have to do something about this. At some point. But let's worry about the freight right now. Let's see. It comes up here. Then it goes that way. So if we could come up here and then go this way. It would be best. Alright, so we come up here, we go this way. Um, dropping off freight right there would be best. And then if we can drop off freight... Right there it would also help okay new line make you this slightly different color of yellow have you drop yourself off there and then drop yourself off there there we are mm, it'll do There's tombstone deliveries. Just a couple trucks should be fine. And we're going to use the uh, the urban e-trucks. Oh, 43 miles an hour. 
Yeah, they'll keep up with the, uh... With the trams. Just give me, like, I don't know, three of them. So, that's done. That's done. We have a traffic issue here we need to deal with, but we'll just have to keep that in mind for the future. We'll come back to it. All right. So, Calico has deliveries. Rhyolite. You do not have freight. Okay. Interesting. We have a method to get freight here, but we don't have actual deliveries. Um, I think the tram is fine. The trams themselves just need upgrades. There we go. Okay, so we are shipping by ship coal from here to here, right? And then we are trucking by truck pole from here to there. Now the trucks that we are putting on the coal are dumper trucks. They only carry loose material. They don't carry finished goods. I'm going to have to replace them. With some more generic trucks. Alright, so that they can bring goods back now. All the way over here. Trucks. Ruby timber. Okay, yeah, they're moving timber. And coal. Moving coal. is not they separated those? Let's take the timber trucks, clone them, and replace them with these. All right, that means they can actually start bringing other things through. All right, good. It means they can also bring the coal through, so. Eh. It'll, it'll work, it'll be fine. All right, so now we should be able to bring anything that we need to this particular point. So then we distribute from here into town. I think the tram needs up, well, the, the actual tram route needs upgraded. Four lane, two way.
Alright. That ought to work. Trams are going this way, so we want the trucks to go the other way. I mean, I could just use trams. I mean, it's right there. Street type city new. There we go. And yeah. There we are. All right, so we come over here. We have this area which needs or wants bricks and fuel. So we just drop a drop off there. We'll cover that. We want tools, goods, and food over here. So a drop off right around here would work. And that should cover most everything. All right, there we are. This is gonna be... Twilight oh, like deliveries. And where is the actual... There it is. Yeah, we can use that. Give me a couple of these. All right, Twilight oh, like deliveries. What does that do? Hmm. Eh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It'll work. Be fine. All right. So that brings us over here. Silverton does have freight. Good. Target population's being reached. That's good. Passengers here are fine. And you are actually hauling stuff. You're not making any money, but you are actually hauling stuff. Okay, which is good. So something is moving at least. All right, St. Elmo, I think, is next up. Um, Amonte has freight. I think that's probably the last city we need to actually look at. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have boats. Right? We have boats coming through here. That connects to this, where we can bring anything we need to into there. So that works. That can bring goods back. All types of freight. Then we have the timber, which is a tram. Okay. Which means that can carry anything we need. And it delivers here. Which actually covers a portion of the city. But we can stop that anywhere else. So it brings... timber down here what we would want is to put the drop-offs on the way back because that's when it's going to be coming back empty right at least in its current uh, configuration so let's see if we can improve this It should be bringing something back. Some machines, goods, bricks. Um, I'm not sure actually how much it does, but if we drop another dro uh, stop right about... Right about there? I'll cover most of downtown. That's probably all we really need. 
So, managed line. So after Lakeview Street, we add another station there, drop off there, and that ought to handle it. No, not configure. I want to manage vehicles, and I want to put another one of those on there. There we are. You're not carrying anything. But the changes that we made on this end should now make that possible. Now, what we'd also need to double check is this guy. You have box cars, which means that you can bring whatever. Okay, good. All right, so now it is possible for every single city on the map to receive freight of some description as long as we're making it and can transport it through the system, which we should. The backbone of that whole system is the air transport that supports the entire network. Yeah. All right. So, um, the next thing is a comprehensive highway system that we now need to start working on figuring out how, how to build. Um, that connects all cities to a high speed, well, a high speed limit road network. High speed limit, high capacity. We'll see. Not seeing any traffic issues here. Not seeing any traffic issues here. Uh, a little bit when we get into town. Traffic problems non-existent. Traffic problems. Existent. Okay. Well, actually, the other thing we, we need to do need to finish doing is uh, working on the uh, passenger rail. You know, that is working pretty well. Did I upgrade this rail? Yes, I did. We got down to here, and this station actually needs an upgrade. Okay. So yeah, actually, I think that's going to be the next project. It's going through all the passenger and all the rail and making sure that it, it is fine. Every single rail line. All right, well, let's just configure this station. Now, do I want to keep this design on this station? This is the line that runs through here, which... 
Pretty standard. Runs through there. Yeah, it's fine. Now, one thing I did want to do here is actually build a new rail line. That is to take this rail here and run it through and connect it to that station there. That going to be an interesting project. Then I just run up a point-to-point -point, um, you know, commuter service there. Not high speed. I mean, I mean, as fast as I can make it, but, you know, not, like, super high speed. To just move some passengers around there. All right. You want to go ahead and do that now? Yeah, sure. Okay. Wait, what's the route we're going to need to take? We're going to need to come in here. So we're going to need to come through here and be kind of over here. So yeah, we're going to want to follow the curve of that freight line and then turn that way. Okay. So I want to do that. What I want to do is kind of have it come through there. Oh, auto save. Ah, uh, clearance is good enough. is for you to come around like that. Yeah, that works. And then let's get past this level crossing here. Let's go ahead and configure this guy. Now I can use both of those platforms, but I am going to go ahead and throw that's bright. Hold on. Can't use the older platforms, I don't think. No. Oh, that's fine. We'll throw a platform here. And then what we want to do is remove. that there and throw it back in over here all right 
Excellent. Now. This is going to be interesting. Will it let me do this? It looks like it will. Uh, where am I going? Oh, we're going over here, right. It does kind of poke out once there. There really isn't much other option. Calculate a bridge. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll merge it down to a single track at that point there. Okay. That's the station we wanted to use. Actually, let's use a darker green. There we are. Train passengers. Um, central connector. Let's call that. Okay, now where is a depot that could get a train on there? It'll be a depot that could put a train on here. There. And for the moment, we're just going to put one train on there. An electric... Probably just a locomotive with some wagons, rather than using a multi-unit. Four miles an hour. Basically, the 
very similar. Euro duel. Let's add that one in. 27 million. Uh, 99 miles an hour passenger wagons. Those have the right speed on them. Mm. There's so many to choose from. Except the comet. 110, that's close. Thirty passengers. Let's do yeah, 120 capacity, 150 capacity. And let's throw it on that central connector. And it should be able to do it. There we go. Okay. Ran a little long here, but that's alright. So we'll go ahead and watch this come out of the uh, depot and uh, we'll end the episode here. So, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.